What's going on guys? Titus here with a actual Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG video. We're doing a little different today. I wanted to play my YCS deck in YGO Omega where uh, everything is free. You don't have to pay for stuff. Um, and we're playing actual TCG rules and stuff. I want to try and get better because I have a regional coming up. Just got done with the YCS, trying to be more competitive at the game. So we're going to play. Um, we're going to play my deck uh, and then we might do some like uh, upcoming format testing because uh issues of cards are coming out soon so this is the deck for the ycs that i played you can also see the actual video um in my channel and stuff uh so uh, i'll go over it real quick we we're playing the brandon and high spirits hand trap version of tier element um so we we're playing three brandon and high spirits one cartesia the blazing cartesia the virtuous three rhino heart three merrily three shire and three havness all of the tiers um, one Soliac, one Terraforming, three Planet, which search the tier monsters, three Imperm, this card's crazy good, three Ash, two Pot of Desires, one Instant Fusion, one Call by the Grave, one Scream, two Vistule Magnamut, one Druid Swarm, three Bell, three uh, Super Poly. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I'm actually playing Call by the Grave. If I look back on my previous builds, I don't believe I'm actually playing this card, but I'll have to look again. Um, two Kit Kalos, one Rule Kalos, uh, new boss monster of the deck, with the other boss monster, the um, Chillin's Kaleido Heart, the Dragos Topelia, the Madrigal of the Swamp, and the Garura, all mandatory basically to play. We're playing the Baron de Flor to sync with the Garura and the Cartesia to make Baron de Flor here. We have a Best Dweller, kills tier elements. Uh, Sprite Sprint, Sprite Elf, because Merle's a level two, and these are generic, because sure. Uh, Gloomy, helpful for taking opponents and then making Avermax, or not not Avermax, but making Boralode to out an Avermax or a Unicorn. Um, we're playing Unicorn, Avermax, Boralode. Um, we might change Avermax. It's kind of hard for it to come up, but it is possible. In the side deck, we have three Gamma and a Driver, uh, useful for against Fluandries. And we have three Anti-Spell, one Pankratops, uh, three Cosmic Cyclone, three Evenly Match, and a Lingaribo. So for those of you who are coming from Master Duel and watching this side deck, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is played best two out of three. And so you roll the die, whoever wins gets to go first. You play the first game, whoever loses gets to choose to go first or second on the next game, which you can decide in out of your cards here, as long as, of course, as your main deck is equal to the same main deck that you entered and your side deck always has 15. So with that, we're gonna pause the video here and we're gonna go into this queue here to go ahead and get a duel going. Um, I'm gonna select my um, tier element deck here and then we're gonna go ahead and join. So uh, you, you will see me again when we enter a duel. And that was super fast. So we're gonna uh, rock gang. We'll see how good this is, though. We'll see if, um... All right, we lose. So we'll see if they go first. Our hand is not the best in the world. They activate Magician of Salvation. Okay. They set Eternal Soul. They activate Rod, they summon Rod. Rod adds a spell track from the deck to your hand, specifically list Dark Magician in the text. I mean, we just imperm this, don't we? They set another card. They set another card. They sacrifice for Moon Maiden. And they end. Um, no fast effect. Uh, unfortunately, our hand's like really bad. Like, it's actually like really bad. Um, I'm just going to set a card. And then set a card. Then we're going to end. Man, not seeing any tier in the end phase is a little, like, no tier element cards is, like, really rough. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bell this fusion or this this summon with eternal soul here So it negates the eternal soul they'll be able to do it on their turn, but we'll be able to call by the grave it So it's like kind of okay We'll see what they do 
Oof. So they get to reveal the illusion and then they get to send back. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I know the other card I was playing. It was not called by the Grave, it was Albion. I'll have to change that. So they're gonna grab souls here, I'm guessing. Um, they shuffled back. Okay. So they grab an unknown. There's the souls that I knew they had. They're gonna send dark magicians, send souls. They're going to special summon the souls and not the Dark Magician. So that's kind of fine with me. And they're going to activate Souls Effect, sending two. We sent Skill Drain. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to draw two cards. Resolve Magician Souls, and they're going to activate Eternal Souls, activate the effects. Special summon one Dark Magician from your hand or graveyard. Uh, we're okay with this. Yep, they're gonna summon Dark Magician. That's fine with us. They have two Spellcasters of Dark. They're gonna enter battle. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What's going on here? Okay, okay. We could summon Garura. The different names. S Souls is not considered Dark Magician, right? Why isn't this highlighted? Really, we could take the damage, to be honest with you. It wouldn't hurt us that much. 25 doesn't really do anything. All right, we got Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart's really good. Um, we're going to activate Scream. They're going to wait. Summon Rhino Heart. We're gonna trigger Rhino Heart effect and summon, and then we're gonna trigger. Um... Ah, I have to get used to this. So Scream is Chain Link One, Rhino Heart is Chain Link Two. I do have to get used to how this works. Uh, we are going to send a Happiness here, and then we also milled a Merrily. So we're gonna activate the Merrily. Activate the Havness here. Um, we're gonna summon Kit Kalos with the Havness and the Rhino Heart. Summon the Kit Kalos. And then we'll summon the Rukalos with the two. Um, no trigger or fast effect here. Really, that was a misplay just because I'm getting used to the simulator. Um, we're going to go into the battle phase. We might have something. Uh, we're gonna attack the Dark Magician. Uh, 
He's going to apprentice magician me. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. So, okay. I want to know why I can't super poly here, actually. That's why. It's because it's unaffected by card effects. That's why, that's why, that's why. Alright. Okay. Gotta get used to the simulator. So what we should have done there was we actually get... Um, we get to get Kit Kalos, and then we would have gone into... Um, Rue Kalos, because we would have added with Kit Kalos, and then we would have done some other stuff um, with that. So that's the only reason why that kind of interaction was happening. So automated simulators are really like really weird about like what you should be like. You have to get used to them on what you're clicking. It's not nearly as useful as say um, the. Master Duel. Master Duel makes it very clear on what you're um, what you're activating, which is really nice. Okay, they're going to go into Magician of Chaos. Okay, that's an Earth. Sure, there's there's a reason that's an Earth monster. We just got our ass whooped by a Dark Magician player because we misplayed on our um, on our card, but that's fine. Not a biggie, not a biggie at all. So what we're going to do is switch these out. And then we are going to switch out our Biss Steals are like really good in this matchup. Um, Ash Blossom doesn't do a lot. I'm gonna switch this. Okay, and this is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go first. All right, we're gonna activate Terraforming. We're gonna grab Planet. We're gonna activate Planet. We're going to add a Rhino Heart. We are going to activate Kit Kalos. Summon Kit Kalos. Activate Kit Kalos. Grab your name Merly. We're going to add it to our hand. We are going to activate the Kit Kalos target itself. Summon the Merly. Okay. We're gonna do trigger effects. We're gonna do kit close to chain link one and then um, release chain link two. We just milled five, right? So we have Rhino Heart, Merly, Shiren that we can activate here. So we could go into Garura. And then another kit close. Finish on a Baron Deflitter. Hmm. Um. We're gonna say yes. We're gonna do the tier monster here. Um. We're gonna fusion summon with the Shiren and the Merle. Ooh, but we're gonna also special summon the Rhino Heart, which I don't necessarily like. Okay, and then we're gonna fusion summon a Rukalos here.
Activate Merle's trigger effect. Oh, uh, we can Shiren actually here. Shiren then go into Garura with the Merle on the field. Garura summons. We're not activating planet. We are now normal summoning with our Cartesia here. We are not going to fast effect. We are just going to go straight into the Baron de Fleur. Oh, activate Garura to draw a card. We drew anti spell. So we set and we set. And we pass. Oh, nope, 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 nope. And we pass. Uh, we activate Cartesia the Virtuous to add it back to hand. He gets priority, so we don't get to flip this anti spell yet. Uh, We're going to go ahead and activate this anti spell. I guess. Can I slow down the animation slightly? <laughs> Activate Illusion of Chaos, of course. We're gonna go ahead and use it to grab souls. Yep, there's the souls. And then put the, the illusion back. How it typically works. Summon the magician's rod. Activate the rod. We'll go ahead and imperm the rod here. It's gonna use the soul's effect. Dumping magician. Special summon this card. Um, no, we, we will let him special summon the Magician's Souls. That is fine with us. Come on now, I want to read Souls. We will negate. Because he has to send for cost there. He'll get to draw a card, which is fine. Then he'll set a card. He'll set another card. And he'll probably set another card. Oh, he'll link summon into the Artemis. And then this is the end of the duel. Alright. We could switch out if we wanted to, but we're not gonna. Sure, what he has. Oh, Eternal Soul. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, we'll activate the effect of Rule Kalos here. He will activate the effect of Metaverse to activate Mystic Mind, but you can't because of um, 
anti-spell. Yep. Okay. Okay. So we know that we need to play evenly, probably. And then we're going to side out of the... Um, out of the bit out of the Brandon and High Spirits engine for game three. Probably could side into gammas as well, to be honest with you, but that seems really scary to try. We'll keep the scream. This will be good. We know he plays um, Mystic Mine. Probably also plays um, Spellcasters, right? In Village of the Spellcasters. Uh, we did not draw super well. Still no um, tier monsters, but we did draw Bisted. Bestial Magnamute. He's going to set three. He's going to end his turn. Okay. Well. I say we go to battle phase. I say we go into battle phase. And we activate evenly matched. Soul Servant. Um, place one card on top of the deck. We can stop that from happening because it does mention certain cards. Uh, it, it mentions other text that is bellable, so he can't do it. So he can't stack his top deck that way. So he'll probably banish this and then something else. We'll see what it is. Okay. Uh, main two, we'll go ahead and set a card. And then we will pass. Odd that I'm not seeing any tier monsters, but I guess that is what it is sometimes. Set on a card. He's gonna pass, okay. There's Rhino Heart. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're gonna activate Scream. And then we're gonna activate... Um, we're gonna activate this first. And then we're gonna activate Scream Chainlink 2. He's gonna activate Skill Drain. Yeah, Skill Drain's pretty good. Murley from Grave. Yeah, we'll activate Murley from Grave. He gets to chain if he wants to. I better not lose to Dark Magician here. So we're gonna just summon the Kit Kalos, even though it, it doesn't matter too much. It can't trigger, so it's not a big deal. So we'll just go to battle phase. We will attack directly for 23. And then we're gonna end phase.
Uh, main two. Just letting him think. In phase. There we go. He gets to drop a turn. Stand by main. But with skill drain up, it's a little different for him. Because now he can't just summon. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. It gets negated, right? Yeah, it gets negated. Wonder Wand. It is unfortunate. I can't imperm this, right? Ooh, terraforming. Okay, we're good. We are fine. Terraforming like solves the issues. Rivalry, huh? Mm. That hurts, but it's not the end of the world. We'll activate planet. Grab planet. Activate planet. I'm going to grab a... Shiren here. Here's the hard part, is we have to hit off of this, but that's okay. I'm gonna activate the Shiren. We're gonna send... The... Activate Merely Chin Link 1, what we have in Grave, and a Druid's Worm. Oh, but well, we have a Kit Close, so yes, we could do this. Try Chin Link 2. So summon Rule Kalos with this and this. Summon Rule. And summon Kit Close with this. This, summon, resolve, change into equity trigger effect, yes. Uh, trigger planet. I can destroy the, I just destroy this and I win. Go to battle phase, attack directly. Yep, attack directly. There we go. We got it. Ah, floodgates. They can win duels. <laughs> they can absolutely win duels. And that is what the TCG is all about. Activating floodgates. Um, I hope you enjoyed my learning experience with this deck. Or not with this deck, but with this simulator. Um as we continue to try and get better at the game. If you want to see more TCG duels like actual tcg tcg duels like this uh, let me know down in the comments below and if you don't that's uh, also fine we can can we can stay on master duel that is perfectly okay but that's gonna be it for me on this one i will see you in the next one happy doing everybody take care